ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have some very interesting leaks in regards to the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. As we all know, the perk system is going to be a lot different in this year's game. As compared to having perks, we're going to have pieces of equipment in the form of combat vests and boots and gloves and things like that. And it comes down to Bob Network UK here, who has been leaking a lot of information for Modern Warfare 3. He put out two very interesting tweets, which goes over basically all the different perk options for the boots category as well as the gloves category category, which gives us a lot more insight as to what Sledgehammer Games has planned for this new perk system. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the leaks here. And before we go any further, let's just keep in mind, these are leaks and they are definitely subject to change. But again, Bob has been leaking pretty much everything very accurately up until this point. So I imagine this is going to be accurate as well. Here we have the boots perk options within Modern Warfare 3. The canvas sneakers will eliminate footstep sounds similar to Ninja or Dead Silence. That was one of the first leaks that came out for Modern Warfare 3 and now it's been confirmed quote unquote via this leak right here next we have stalker boots which is going to increase strafe and aim down sight movement speed similar to the stalker perk from the original modern warfare 3 tactical pads which is going to increase slide distance and allows full ads while sliding increases stance transition speeds and crouch movement speeds then we have ultra light boots which is going to increase your movement speed and your swim speed and also reduce the noise you make while swimming so kind of like lightweight with some extra benefits Running sneakers is going to increase your tax sprint duration and reduce the refresh time of your tax sprint. So kind of like a kind of like a take on marathon to an extent or extreme conditioning from previous COD titles. And then climbing boots, which is going to increase climbing and mantling speeds and also reduce your fall damage. This is why I've been talking about when it comes to perks and COD. These are actual very good perks that when you choose your boots category, you're going to have to make very interesting decisions. Like for me, obviously, I want to have silent footsteps. I've been wanting that basically since Infinity Ward got rid of it back in Modern Warfare 2019. But let's say I'm playing 10v10 like I am here in the gameplay here. In 10v10, footsteps are just kind of happening all the time. It's not nearly as important, right? So I might want to go for the stalker boots to increase my strafe speed as well as my ADS movement speed or maybe I want to go with the ultra light boots to give myself faster movement and swim speed or maybe be able to climb over things faster as well as take little fall damage increasing my tax sprint duration that also sounds nice all of these perks seem pretty powerful overall and you're gonna have to make a choice between all of them as to what you want to do and how you want to build your character I think that sounds fantastic but we have information not only on the boots but also the gloves and this actually just came out a couple of minutes ago so I haven't even read these yet let's just go ahead and check them out here are going to be the gloves perk options within modern warfare 3 assault gloves while jumping accuracy and time to aim down sight is improved Ugh, that's disgusting last thing we need is more jump shotting custom gloves is going to be increased weapon swap speed okay it seems fine for certain setups scavenger gloves replenish ammo and throwing knives from dead players so they're taking the scavenger perk and making it a pair of gloves i guess specialist gloves throw equipment further and then reset the fuse time on throwing back grenades okay it's like strong arm tactical combat gloves are going to enable reloading while sprinting that sounds pretty good and then marksman gloves reduce sway and flinch while aiming down sights not gonna lie that sounds really good i mean reducing your flinch is always powerful but at the same time reloading while sprinting is also pretty important for some players depending on your play style replenishing ammo sounds good or swapping weapons quickly sounds good maybe if you're using a sniper with a secondary or something like that these perks i don't think are as closely contested as the boots but they do seem pretty good as well and the thing about this entire system as we know it so far is yes there's going to be combat vests yes there's going to be gloves yes there are going to be boots will there be other pieces of equipment as well will you be able to rock two kinds of gloves at the same time that seems weird but is it a possibility i don't know and i also wonder about the rest of the creative class as a whole what is going to go into your grenade section or your tactical section will there be ways to further customize your class i've been talking about this a lot on my streams lately and this is something that bothers me and it's something that i don't feel so enough people bring up but every time i play it's right there in my face and it bothers me so much have you guys noticed how many people spam flashes and stuns and semtexes and frags and drill charges in Modern Warfare 2? 
They're everywhere. And the perks that we have in Modern Warfare 2 fucking suck. Like the attack mask perk, which reduces the effectiveness of stuns and flashes. Still, you get hit by it. You're still slowed down by stuns and you're still blinded by flashes. Like the perks kind of useless. It reduces the effectiveness of them. It does not make you immune to them like we've seen in other Call of Duty titles. I really wish they would make you immune because it's so frustrating that you're playing a respawn game mode and every time someone spawns in, they're chucking a stun and they're chucking a sem text and there's just your screen shaking there's smoke everywhere you're constantly slowed down or you're blinded it's so frustrating right that's another reason why i would love to see the return of the pick 10 system that we had back in black ops 2 or maybe a different kind of system like we had in call of duty ghosts where players will have the option to get rid of things like stuns and flashes and things like that in exchange for more perks or more attachments on their weapons i think given the choice a lot of players would make that decision hell you need only look back at black ops 2 i mean people rarely ran stuns in that game because they wanted more perks they wanted to spend all their points on their credit class on wild cards and things like that you know so i think if they were to implement something similar to that into modern warfare 3 it would help the game out even more they're trying to make the game more fast paced but let me tell you how it's not very fast paced when there's really no perk out there that makes it so you don't just get slammed to death by tactical grenades 24 7. i imagine and the leaks haven't come out yet but i imagine if they reveal the tactical vest and the different perks that are going to be associated with that i imagine there's going to be a flak jacket style one that protects you from grenades maybe attack masks style vest or something that is going to reduce the effectiveness of stuns and flashes but again it goes back to what i was talking about in the previous video i really really like the pick 10 system and this system here sounds fine it sounds like a like a rework it sounds like a rebranding of the old perk systems essentially because if we have a vest and we have gloves and boots that's just three different perk categories if you think about it and they all do different things and you equip your three and then you're good but will there be more than that will there be a helmet category for example will there be pantaloons i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see i mean sledgehammer has been almost meticulously quiet about this like suspiciously quiet about this they haven't really mentioned much about that system really whatsoever and we do know that the full multiplayer reveal is not until october 5th for crying out loud that's forever from now so i'm hoping now that these leaks are starting to pop up that they decide to release an official blog post over on their website or something where they give us actual details and official confirmation of how the system is going to work and maybe give us a rundown of all the different perks and all the different pieces of equipment that are going to be available in the game but until then we're kind of reliant on leakers and so thank you to bob network uk for giving us this information it's definitely very interesting and i would love to hear what you guys think down there in the comments i mean do you think this system can work it kind of just sounds like a rebranding of previous perk systems but they haven't fleshed out the entirety of the system yet and we do know the same attachment system from modern warfare 2 will carry over into modern warfare 3 by the very nature that all the content is carrying over and we also have the confirmation thankfully that we're not gonna have to earn our perks in game but rather we make our class then when we spawn into the match we just have our perks like we should have had from Modern Warfare 2 so that's also good but yeah just there's so many question marks right now and until Sledgehammer comes out and officially confirms these different things we are reliant on leaks and rumors and industry insiders so as always I'll keep you posted as we learn more and as more information comes out about this but for right now that's it for this video here today I hope you enjoyed it leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day